Okay, so I have here six Maxwell ultra capacitors at 2.7 volts each, 3,000 farads, so they say, and I have it charged up to 14.93 volts currently, and I'm using a 400 watt black and decker inverter to power a lamp with a energy saver bulb fluorescent. Let's see how long it lasts. You can see the voltage dropping. 14.78. I know that the Black and Decker will start beeping obnoxiously at about 12.18 volts. And just to prove that this really is powering the lamp. That stupid fan I was drawing them out of power. If I can get that to turn off. Oh my gosh. Seriously. That is obnoxious. Here we go. Ah, this little power pack. Powering my light. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think next I'll try to power my blender. <laughs> Now, I have no idea what this considers to be over voltage. All I know is I tried 20 volts with the extra four capacitors, and that was over voltage. It wouldn't run anything, quite pathetic, really. Boost caps have a lot of power, but there are so many things that won't use that power because the voltage is too low. Two point seven volts is enough to melt a hole in a wire. bought these for my wife's e-bike, but because the e-bike only uses 3 volts between vo between 21 and 24 or 25 volts, so 3 or 4 volts, it ends up dying right around the time you get around the block. Yep, pretty retarded. I could make a uh, tool safe connect to a smaller set of capacitors and then you let the big set of capacitors charge the small set of capacitors and that would actually allow it to use every ounce of power in the capacitors but for now I'm just going to buy her a regular lead acid battery lame but it will get her down the road, and that's what matters.
So it's been four and a half minutes so far. I have to turn the light off for about five seconds. This is a pretty big draw, this light bulb, even though it is an energy saver. It's like 13 watts. If you hook your cell phone charger up to this thing, it would last. It would probably charge your cell phone a couple times before it died. And keep in mind, I'm charging these boost caps in about five minutes with my 50 to 200 watt, 200 amp car charger. Yeah, let's see here. This one does... Uh, It doesn't, doesn't say the watts, it says the volts and the amps, but I'm not, I'm not going to let it in there. So the light is still on and my voltmeter turned off automatically to save power. <laughs> I think I will try charging the cell phone with this, see how long it charges it for. I also might try raising the voltage of hair. Well, I don't know about that because I'm reaching the limit here. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with this. I mean... If this was an emergency situation, you could charge that capacitor up with a DC motor. Just hook the wires up and start spinning. Maybe put a diode in there so it doesn't spin itself. Not only that, but you could charge this up with your car, which is uh, what I'm going to do next. Once I get the packaging for it, I'm going to throw it in my car and use it instead of a car battery. I just have to keep in mind and not play the radio with the car off, that's all. Or run the lights. Yep. Although, as you can see, it's going to... It doesn't just die after one start. I mean, I've seen videos of people starting a car with 10 volts. You never have to buy another car battery, I'll tell you that. This thing ain't gonna die on you. 500,000 cycles, they say it can last. That is a lot. A car battery can do like 70,000, I think it is. 50,000, maybe? Uh oh. We're getting down there now. And uh almost eight minutes so far. Yep, this is definitely cool. And I could turn the power off. I mean, the lights on from here. I used to use this light for coming on. It's going to start beeping soon. It's very obnoxious. Got the fan running. I wonder how long it'll go while it's beeping. I could just turn, take that speaker out. Stop the beeping.
Nine and a half minutes going on ten. I think most modern cars have some sort of auto off feature if the voltage goes too low for headlights and uh, the radio and whatnot. So you probably wouldn't even have to worry about that. Oh, it's going to beep any second. Maybe not. Hmm. Eleven minutes. Impressive. These are capacitors. These are not batteries. These can charge and discharge instantly. Ultra capacitors. They don't have the internal resistance that a battery has, so they're more efficient. That's why they can have very little capacity yet still do great things. Like this. I am amazed that that thing is not beeping right now. Oh my word. <laughs> Auto off again. Eleven point six seven six six. Why did it start peeping at twelve point eighteen before? That is ridiculous. Amazing. Come on, thirteen, fourteen minutes here. Still above ten volts. I'm definitely confident this would work great in my car. Just gonna find a nice way to package it. Would certainly cut down the weight. Maybe save me a couple cents on gas. It's 
Not nearly as heavy as a car battery. Uh oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh. 